You guys have Connie. It's Connie again. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, yeah. she's pretty awesome. <laughs> um, so basically, we are the personal finance team from Riffle. Um, this is the financial case, don't forget to floss. So basically, we are going to address you, Kendra, on the best financial fund. So. Uh, I have the button here. Oh, you have the button? Oh, okay, okay. Okay, so first of all, we're going to basically explain the problems we have with your financial, current financial situation. Um, we're going to analyze those factors. We're going to basically um, give you alternatives on those factors. So we're, from there, we're going to give you a recommendation from the alternatives, and we're going to implement that alternative. And from there, we're going to implement risks and mitigations from there. All right, uh, so you will be receiving uh, p two payments of YouTube for $2,500 in a few months. You don't know that, but, um, and you have an unhealthy uh, spending habits and spent the majority of your uh, tips and salary from what you're saying on EDM concerts, and going to EDM concerts, and going out with your friends, leaving basically no money for you and your savings. Um, and your mother wants uh, you to complete your post-secondary, which will hopefully start your career and gain you some reliable income. Uh, analysis. You will be receiving two payments of twelve hundred and five twelve thousand five hundred dollars from YouTube, but it might may take up to three months. Your current income cannot support your current spending habits. You have little money left left over. Your credit card debt is growing at a substantial rate. You have plans of continuing your post-secondary education you want to continue your passion for EDM music. All right, so we want to look at the alternatives. Alternative one, uh, we're going to keep the same spending habits, but we're going to cut some expenses and save some money at the same time. So basically, that's going to be our, you know, somewhat good alternative. <laughs> alternative number two, lock up YouTube money for two years and let it grow with interest. While working full time and building up saving for school, we could put uh, the extra money because you're working full time, those that extra money we could put into a TFC. Alternative number three: increase work hours, cut expenses, put YouTube money towards paying off debts, save for schooling, and while still maintaining EDM hobby. So, uh, here it is in your materials. Uh, pay off your credit card. That's a huge one. We have to take that off immediately. Save for school. Save for schooling, which they'll create you some reliable income and you won't have to worry about what you're going to do with your future. Yeah, basically. So, yeah. That's the most important part. Uh, and with that reliable money income, you still you will still be able to do your EDM concerts and have fun. Yeah, so you have a smile for yeah. Yeah. All right, so alternative number one, uh, it's our status quo. Uh, keep working four days a week, five hours per shift. Uh, that income uh, is about $2,667, but you are spending around $3,100 and uh, I believe it is. Uh, okay, my bad. Sorry. Suggestions to uh, change the total uh, expenses include cut restaurant expenses to $250 from $500, cut entertainment expenses from $350 to or no, cut entertainment expenses from $700 to $350, cut clothes expenses from $200 to $100. Um, increase savings and debt repayment to $100 each from a previous of $0. Uh, use the YouTube payments to pay off current credit card debt uh, and line of credit debt equals to $29,000 if the... All of this can be done while still maintaining your EDM hobby. Okay, uh, sir, here's your second alternative. Put that $25,000 uh, YouTube money into two year fixed uh, fixed bond rate at 3.6% 3, 3 at the end of those year, at the end of those two years, the money will grow up to $26,832. Um, increase your hours, so go full time, which would double your income. Uh, the surplus money then would be kept in a savings account for to be used for purchases instead of buy instead of using the credit card that you have that to. Uh, we can cut the expenses as stated in the previous slide. So 
Alternative three, you increase your work to full time with having a monthly income of about $5,300 after expense. Increase expenses, or decrease expenses to about $2,400. As stated in the previous slides, that have a surplus of about $2,800. You put your YouTube installments into a high interest savings account at 3% APR and then add $2,000 per month to grow that amount, which will then equal about $50,000 at the end of the year. Create, your, create an auto debit to pay off your credit card debts. Create KFSA for schooling at 0.85% with the starting principal of $1,000 and add $450 a month. At the end of the two years, there will, there will be about $10,000 in that account. There will now be two sources of money towards to go schooling after you pay off your credit card debt in your high interest savings account. And the ex your extra $464 will then be put into your checking account and be used for your EDM passions and other recreational activities. <laughs> Whatever comes along with EDM passions. Uh, recommendation. We recommend the third option because it is a blend of saving and creating good habits while paying off all other debts. Implementation. We would increase your income immediately. It would help create your good saving habits, investing money into TFSA for schooling, and having auto debits of which would be done automatically for you and you don't have to worry about paying them off yourself. Okay, here are some risks and how we can mitigate that. Uh, first, we don't know when the, mon the YouTube money will uh, come in. So this plan will be on standby and will not be affected until you get paid by YouTube. But in the meantime, you can start uh, creating good habits and start uh, your savings as well with your full-time job that you have. Okay. So what's the burning issue right now that she should immediately start working on right now? Because if she doesn't, because the the credit card companies want you to start paying immediately, and so if you start paying that off immediately, you'll start making your the credit card company happy, and they won't have to bother you, and your credit score will not go any farther than it already is. Okay. So oh. where is she? Yeah. Also, the more payments you miss on your credit card, um, the lower your credit card score will go. So we wanted to pay that off as quickly as possible to you know keep that credit score trying to get build it back so how, well. how she is going to do that um because with that two thousand dollars so we'd be investing that two thousand dollars into a tfsa right and then Your we ideas. so that's basically we're understanding that twenty five thousand dollars from youtube is kind of like we don't we're not sure if it's going to come in because it could take three months to process right we have that two thousand dollars which would create an auto debit which would just automatically start going into the debt like onto the credit card debt um, and then if we have that 25000 extra dollars come in later, we just put that into the TFSA and keep having that $2,000 go into the debt. Yeah. So it's going into the high interest savings account going into the debt, paying the debt. Did you ever consider taking those YouTube payments and putting them directly on your credit cards? We did not consider that because we... Uh, we didn't consider that, no. We did that on the third offer. Because with that $25,000 in that high interest savings account, it could, at that 3% interest, it's not going to get you much, but it's free money as it's coming in with that 3% okay. APR there, okay. while still having that auto debt to withdraw. Other, uh, I guess, big thing I'm wondering, uh, a large part of your plan is based on her changing her behaviors with money. Mm -hmm. changing her lifestyle. Mm -hmm. uh, how are you going to get her to do that? How are you going to? How, how is it? How is it feasible for? Yeah, well, how do you convince somebody to totally change their life immediately and go from bleeding five hundred dollars a month to now we're talking working forty hours a week and you know bringing in substantially more money and cutting her spending and all of a sudden she's got two thousand dollars. It's an individual that's been blowing money and has no oh. cares for this. So how are you going to convince her to do this? Well, right now she has she has nothing to do like other than her EDM passion. She she's not doing anything outside of working those four days a week right now. So there's I think there would be no no other reason but to, to work.
paperwork and pay off her, her debt that she's already that she has. And she understands that like this uh, this habit of going to these EDM concerts is it's becoming uh, costly. So we she needs to understand that she need if she wants to keep this habit up, which which an extra four hundred dollars of that surplus, like she can have into it. I call it the fun fund, because uh, uh, that's what her passion is in the EDM. It's fun. I, don't, I, don't, I guess. Um, so basically, oh sorry, I lost. I, the fun fund. Oh yeah, the fun fund. So basically, if like we had that extra money going to, she could be, you know, actually doing that EDM stuff while working all those hours, because that's extra money for her hobby, right? And just the last question. You guys have Uh Okay, just to go back to the uh, issue of paying credit cards or uh, the uh, TFSA. Why do you think that investing in TFSA is better than paying credit cards right away? She wants to save up for her schooling to go back. She wants to save that twenty-five, that twenty thousand dollars to go towards schooling. So while she's paying off that credit card debt, she could also be saving. So she kind of has a balance of both, of well, saving and paying off her debt at the same time. Okay. Thank, Thank you, guys. <laughs>